So here we have the Volkswagen Polo 1 litre Blue Motion Tech SE on a 15 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a three door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you'll see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. And then underneath this tray section, the space is increased even further should you need it. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. The seats are in fantastic condition. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. You can see in the middle, the total miles on this car are 17,830. The information that's displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. We've got various different menus. We're in the driver data menu at the moment, which includes that digital readout for the speedometer. But we do have a phone menu, audio menu, vehicle status, and then driving data again. So for audio menu, for example, it will show you what radio station is currently being listened to or what track you might be listening to. And then you can pair your phone and make phone calls using the buttons on the steering wheel. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a moment ago are these ones here. We've also got voice activation for the phone on that side. And then on the left hand side, we have stereo controls. So volume and skipping uh, tracks or tuning radio stations just there. Over in the center is the touch screen uh, stereo system for the car. So if we hit radio, for example, all of this is touch screen. You can see down the bottom, we've got DAB, digital radio, as well as FM and AM. If you want to listen to your own music, hit the media button. And again, there's a lot of ways of doing that in this car. So we've got a CD player, SD memory card slot, USB input, Bluetooth audio, and an auxiliary input. So Bluetooth audio simply means that you can stream your music wirelessly from your uh, phone or tablet uh, once you connect it up via Bluetooth. Working our way down from there, we have the air conditioning. So you can set the temperature, fan speed, direction of the air, then hit that button to turn the air conditioning on. When that light is on, the air conditioning's on. You can turn it off again, obviously. When it's on, that button there will recirculate the air that's currently in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature that you've set over here. And you can turn that off whenever you wish to. Below that, We've got the auxiliary input, USB input, and a 12 volt charging socket as well. We then have the five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.